K-I-L-R Killer Games Hey everyone, it's another fun video here with me, the Killer Gamer, and... Nerd Gamer 2K 2K And this is Back to the Future, the game Or the which movie might own us? Maybe not Nah, you can't really die in this game Not really Nah Man, I'll just pick that up there. Oh, great, Scott! It is Back to the Future of the Game. It's a graphic adventure based on the movie trilogy. Uh, it's a five-episode series which started in 2010. Oh, wow. So this came out in 2010. And then Christopher Lloyd, he actually returns as Doc Brown. Yeah. Um, they did, yeah, that is, that's definitely him, but they do have someone else uh, doing Marty, Marty McFly. Um, this story takes place seven months after the film trilogy, so it takes place on May 14th, 1986. And this incorporates story scenarios uh, that came from fans, as well as original uh, concepts that concepts that were meant for Back to the Future Part 2. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so the, apparently the things that are in this game are ideas that they had for the movies. That's but pretty cool didn't have the time for it or, or what have you so all right let's just jump into this and have some fun it's the flux the flux capacitor or why or it's a why why for you why are we playing this game why are we playing it i don't know that's not how you spell jc penny back there that's jp penny yeah j with the i oh j p piney something i never realized that in the background all right so as you can see this is back to the future of the game yeah this is a car i've been wanting for a while uh the yeah. delorean it's my favorite but it's got to be it's got to be one that uh, uh goes back in time uh so we can play in english we can play um, in something maybe one of those other ones i think that i know that's german and that's probably dutch dutch no i think that's french, french yeah i know i definitely know that's german I know my German flag. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. What what settings do we have here? Oh, we get it. We get to go inside the car. All right. So there's hint levels. I thought it said siblings and help. <laughs> siblings and help. Subtitles. Nah, we don't need that. Pop-up text. How about hint level? Hint level? Nah. They give enough hints on the first part. Goals pop up. Let's see. Sound levels. Those look good. And graphics. Mm, probably best not to mess with it. Oh, no. Don't mess with it. Are you kidding? We can make it bigger and better. Well, we want to apply it now. Full screen on graphics quality. Yeah, we can definitely improve that. It uh, looks the same. Okay. Uh. Don't mind us, we're just kind of moving stuff around here. Don't really know what changed. Effects keep it on. Um, if anything, it made things a little smoother is what it did. Man, yeah, it looks the same to me. There's simple and advanced. Which doesn't exist, apparently. Oh, we are on advanced. Yeah, I think we are on advanced. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I'm like... Well, that didn't do anything. No, it just... We can see more, I think, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so... 1280 by 1024. And back to the beginning. Back, okay. Alright, so here we are. New game. And... Let's just take a brief pause and make sure that uh, everything's saved correctly. All right, well, now that we've played around with it enough times, let's go ahead and go to a new game. Yay. In we go into DeLorean. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's always great to have goals. To know what to do. Yes, show goals. We're back to the Y again. Y M C. Why not? Yeah. Tattletale. Tattletale games. All right, I'm ready. Who's ready? Good evening. 
I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. <laughs> boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. It's a dog. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. <laughs> you got that thing hooked up to the car? <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! Are we gonna go with the movie? I don't know. What about what the heck? Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Doc, who, who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! And what about the doctor? I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact! And at precisely 1.21 a.m. time machine. Seconds, we shall catch up with him oh, and the time no. machine! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you put your dog in a time machine made out of a DeLorean? <laughs> the way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Yeah! So, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Hey, didn't happen that way in the movie. No. Uh, Doc? Huh, oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern, it's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the What toolbox. is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> See, after all the times that I've played this, I still don't understand the entire story. Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you can see his... Click no. and hold your left mouse button. Okay, drag... All right, here we go. You can use the keyboard. Place the cursor over the toolbox. Aren't you gonna use the the? Oh, I I guess I could. No, use, the use these things. Oh, I, I got the arrow keys. But it's more comfortable with W S W A D F seal. Oh, let's go to the sealed container. What's in the box? Don't touch that. It's plutonium. But uh, plutonium. How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Yeah, it wasn't lightning. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else I can click on here? We'll click on the toolbox, I guess. Notebook. Notebook. Looks like a diary. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. What about the TARDIS? In this <laughs> what notebook, about the TARDIS? I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever but he's fell not in the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z hmm. and e like, equals this isn't how it happened in the movie. Times C squared. So and the flux dispersal rate is inverse. Gotta get out of here. I know. Force root of N carry the nine out of N. Here. Um, Doc, shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? The Hoovers? The Libyans. So there's one people that shoot them? Oh yeah. 
Uh, Doc? The road is shiny. Lone Pine. But it's Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Yep, game over. Oh, maybe Doc! not. Is that Frankenstein? It looked like Frankenstein. Marty? Is that weird Is that <laughs> Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. Well, you're okay in 18. Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. That was a year ago. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Back to the future. The game. I've played this game like four times <laughs> all the way through, and I still don't understand it. Well, it's supposed to play like, like an actual movie would go. Well, I know, but I mean, like, if Einstein never returned, but he still has that picture when they were in the past, but that never happened. I think that was a dream. He woke up. The, the right? No. no. He wasn't dreaming? Well, because back then it said 1885, and then the mom said 1886. No, she said 1986. That's what I meant. Meow. Is that a dog? Could be. It's just all confusing. Dennis Leonard. State sale. May 14, 1986. So we're no longer in 1985, apparently. And we're no longer Are we too in late July to stop either. The sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, <laughs> I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city Happy really years. seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? <laughs> it's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Yeah. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? That's not one thing that he wore. Yeah. Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. See, he's missing. Uh, let's see. Who's missing? Oh, Doc. Right. So I think make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous for that lying around. Well, there's the door. Let's take a look at the door. Maybe the door is dangerous. I better stick around. Doc might have left something important yeah, behind, and he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. Hmm. All right. Einstein's bowl. I miss Einstein. Yeah, what else? Fish tank. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised what? fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. Yeah, a teapot. Dog feeder. Hey, let me now Biff leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Marty, Sorry, no. Marty. <laughs> Say clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Seems that like they're all different times. George. Hey, Dad. I'm say Biff. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. 
Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Hmm. What do you think we should do? Keep doing that one. I can fight my own fights. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not he's so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can oh, I. Oh, that's a hint. I guess you can. It's in his okay, eyes. Okay, son. <laughs> I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I had a dream. It's like that speech. Yeah, I had a dream. King. Do you think dreams Junior. can Junior. predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <clears throat> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess. I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Oh. Do we keep talking about the same dream? Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that oh, mystical stuff. Press the enter Future. button, maybe. What did you dream? Oh, oh just... <laughs> weird no. stuff. No, that's just pause. <laughs> yeah, well, we know how to that. pause it now. That's understandable, don't you think? Blah, blah. blah. I guess, but... I feel like blah, it was blah, telling blah. me something. I know there's a way to skip it somehow. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Uh, amplifier. That's a big amplifier. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for See, pennies. See, he didn't even explain that. I mean, I don't get it. That's Because it's noise. like it takes place after the movie, but then it doesn't take, like, yeah. Well, all this is actually after the movie. Or the trilogy, I should say. Well, yeah, but... But then, like, he had that dream thingy, but then it actually came true, so then all of that stuff from the movies wouldn't have happened. Hmm. It's an interesting, uh... It took me that's why I've never understood I it. Yeah, I, uh, Sounds like a uh, paradox <laughs> waiting to happen. Exactly. Let's see. <laughs> Go back there. It says town mo I mean model of dog oh, town. Hill, Hill Valley. Valley. No, not dog town. <laughs> it said dog town. Damn. Uh. Don't talk to Biff. Oh. Oops, I clicked on him. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. He looks older. Oh, I see it. I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it like that. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, never mind. Neither. Jukebox. Wait, I got one. Um, I forgot <laughs> the name of the song. Gotta get back in time. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. See, and then there's that. <laughs> Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? It's got a watch on it. Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Hmm. Should we fight him? Yeah, <laughs> I saw it first. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's not <laughs> a business. flux catheter. Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Huh. Hmm, so now we have to get it back from him. Seems kinda empty without the courthouse. Yeah. 
You notice at the guardhouse that the clock is like a watch? Yeah, it's like a broken watch without the wrist thingy. Hey, Biff. <laughs> the notebook's dangerous. Probably that one. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of duck. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on! Jeez. Huh. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough! <laughs> <laughs> Man. I don't like him. Uh, never mind. I don't think anybody does. Nobody likes him when he's old either. Uh, let's see. We turned on that uh, stereo. Where are we going now? Oh, this way. Ooh, guitar. Yeah, let's go get his guitar. Hey, Dad, wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Wow. Left clicked on the blinking inventory button. Your hand. All right. So now that you've opened your inventory, you can highlight items by clicking on it. Oh. Okay. So now select the amplifier to plug in. All right. Oh, that doesn't look like his guitar. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Cling. At least that chair was there. Rock on, Biff. Huh. Oh, shoot. Last time, Marty didn't even have a chair. Maybe. N uh, Bulletproof vest. Where are you? Oh. That's interesting. Sixteen forty-six. Might be important. Who knows? It's a time machine. And that. When you could put that. Search for clues to Doc's whereabouts. Well, I guess we can get started with the DeLorean. It's all ice cold. Doc? Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? Makes you wonder if it's part of that dream where you sent him off <laughs> into the future. Shield eyes from light. A shoe. Huh. Okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. <laughs> And help tip. Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or now. <laughs> <laughs> He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back. Or, or forward. To whatever it is, I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? 
Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Hmm. Let's see, time circuit. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. Hmm. Try going out. That's the only thing we can do at this moment. Although I do know what to do next. Alright, let's walk around here. Oh, well, we can't go that way, apparently. <laughs> or that way. <laughs> Wait, what does the license plate say? Uh... Oh, it should say out of time or. Who knows? There's Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Anything else? No. Hey, I can't seem to walk. I'm walking in place. If I just kind of walk around the uh, DeLorean several times, that's not gonna do anything. Let's see. I can't get back to the house. I think we did everything in here. Yeah. There's a keypad. That's to enter the time. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I just realized he has blue eyes. I can use those to enter a date into the time blah, circuits. Blah, blah. Once I know when to look for Doc. I don't think um, Michael J. Fox has blue eyes. Well, there is his notebook. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Oh, there's... This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. <laughs> I mostly mean this. Story so far, and must be missing something obvious. Yes, but it's not in there. thing is the DeLorean, so... Wait a minute, unless... Well, nope, that's not what I'm <laughs> gonna do. What do you know about this, Shuiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Zero. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Hmm. Alright, well I think this is a good place to kind of stop for now, um, with uh, Aini right in front of that door, and we can pick up from here in our next video. Alright, great Scott!